Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanika and today I have got some very, very affordable makeup to try. Now, if you live in Australia like me, then you would know that drugstore makeup isn't always as cheap as it is in the US. We're still paying like $30 for a foundation and that's like a normal drugstore price. So today I am going in with some products from Mud Makeup and they don't have a huge range, but the most expensive item is a lipstick at $8.50. Now they are an Aussie owned brand, they are cruelty free and you can pick them up from the Mud Makeup website or at Woolworths. Now I was just looking online and noticed that there is a little bit of a difference between the products available from their website and at Woolworths. So I guess you just have to go into Woolies and see what's there. But anyway, let's just get straight into it. Starting off with their foundation. Now there is only one available and this is called the Flawless Finish Foundation. It retails for $6.00. There are six shades available and it says it has a natural finish with a buildable coverage. Now I have the lighter shade available and this is called Ivory. Now I know six shades isn't a lot, but I really don't expect much from this brand to be honest. Wait till we talk about the concealer and the powder shade range, but. All right, the shade match looks all right. It feels very lightweight, but still creamy. So I think I might get a good coverage out of this. I haven't put any other primer on by the way, because I just want to see how the foundation performs on its own. Okay, it is sitting really nicely on my skin. I can agree that it has a natural finish. Let's go in with a little bit more and see how it builds up. I do have a little bit of redness peeping through, so let's see if we can cover that up. It doesn't seem to be clinging to any dry patches or sitting funky on my skin. Ooh, not bad. I literally tried like a $30 foundation in one of my recent testing new Aussie drugstore makeup videos and it sucked. This is $6, it is sitting so beautifully on the skin. Look at that glow that it's giving. The coverage is beautiful, it's medium, it's natural. My only thing is that it's probably a smidge too dark for me. It might look okay in the camera, but face to face I can see that it's just like that smidge too dark because I look a bit <laughs> tanned. <laughs> if you guys follow Samantha Izundu here on YouTube or Instagram or TikTok, she's everywhere. I have seen her post a few videos about this foundation and I know that she loves it and I can see why. This looks fabulous. I'm very excited. I will wear it all day and I'll leave a little comment or something in the description box letting you know how it wore. Look at that. Oh my God. Next, I'll be using the Flawless Finish Concealer. This one retails for $7 and it comes in a whopping two shades. I have the shade 01 Ivory and then it also comes in 02 Natural Beige. I think I might have to send them a DM or something and just ask like what the deal is with this because it is not inclusive at all. And that's a real shame because if this makeup is amazing and so affordable, let's expand the range. Let's let everyone use it. You know what I mean? So anyway, this concealer is described to have a full coverage formula. It's creamy and it has a natural finish. Now I have used this like once or twice in the past, but it was a long time ago. So I can't really remember how it went. That has blended out absolutely beautifully into the foundation. It doesn't look dry or patchy under the eyes at all. I think I might go in with just a little bit more in like that deep hollow of my under eye and see how the coverage is. But like, I don't really need any more. But look, I'm a little tired today, so I need to cover up those dark circles. It is getting harder and harder to sleep as my belly continues to grow. I am at 28 weeks at the moment and I've always been like a really good deep sleeper. So not being able to sleep and like waking up several times during the night to pee or because I'm uncomfortable is like um, a real, you know, just shock to my system. And I know it's only gonna get worse when I have the baby. So <laughs> get used to it, honey. Look how flawless that looks. So smooth. That is just beautiful. Okay, let's just go in with a touch more on this side. I think in a situation like this though, where I've got dark circles, some um, color corrector 
would be a better option. All right, I'm going to let that kind of just set down for a second and go in with some eyebrows. Now I have the Shade and Shape Brow Styler and this is in the shade Blonde. Now I can't see this on the MUD website or the Woolies website. So I don't know if this is still available. It looks like quite a new product. The only other brow product they have available is just like a regular brow pencil. And that one retails for $6. So we've got a spoolie on one end and then the other end has like that triangular shape pencil. I think the color of this is going to be really nice for my brows. So let's brush out these pathetic little things. What? Hang on. Whoa. Hold up. Wait a minute. I was like, why is this loose? And I just unscrewed the middle of it. And there's like brow powder on a sponge in there as well. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> because the lid says shape, like for the pencil. And then in here it says shade. And it's called the shape and shade. Wow. Seriously, sometimes. All right, let's go in with the powder section in my arch here where I really don't have much going on. Oh my God, easy. Mm, that's actually quite nice. Brush it back up. Well, that is quite the before and after. <laughs> Let me go ahead and finish this side. Okay, things have changed. I finished my brows. I didn't actually have any cheek products to use from Mud Makeup, so I went ahead and finished all of that. Now that actually confuses me because on their website, they don't have any blush, bronzer or highlighter, but on their Instagram, there's pictures of powder, blushes and bronzers. So I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go in with the pressed powder and I have the shade 01 Ivory. Again, this one only comes in two shades. It says that it has a buildable coverage, a smooth matte finish, and it's only $5. Now I did go in with cream products on my cheeks and my under eyes are actually looking quite nice. Like the concealer hasn't creased and it has been a good 20 minutes since I've done it. Same with my foundation on my forehead. Usually it has completely settled into all my lines, but it is looking pretty damn good. So I think with the powder, what I'm going to do is just take a little bit around my nose and chin here where the foundation fades away the quickest. I'm going to use my sponge, just take a little bit and then just press it into the skin. All right, it's definitely giving it that matte finish, but it's making it look super smooth as well. I might just go a little bit on my forehead right in the middle where I get a bit shiny. All right, let's just go in with a little bit under the eyes. I'm finding now, sometimes when I put powder under my eyes, it makes it all just, like it creases so much worse. So that's why I didn't go in with a lot, but it's definitely mattified it. My chin looks great where I put the powder. That is actually quite a nice shade for me. Look at that highlighter. Ooh, oh my God. It is the Rimmel Glow Stick in Bubbly. This has just been like one of my favorite things ever and I never hear people talk about it. But look at that. Whoa, oh my God. All right, next I've got the Volume and Fiber Extension Mascara and this one is only $5. It says that it gives a false eyelash effect with extreme volume and length. That is what I'm after. Okay, so far so good. The wand is giving me a nice amount of product and the formula isn't like too wet, which oh, I can't stand like a super wet mascara formula. The length looks really nice so far. My lashes are separated nicely. I'll go in with a second coat and see if that adds more volume. All right, well, no complaints here. I think that they look great. Oh, all right, I'm going to be finishing off with some lip products. Starting with the Longwear Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Blushed. Now, this particular one wasn't online. They had a different one, and it was $5. And then I've got the Longevity Liquid Lipstick in the shade Perfect Rosewood. This was the most expensive thing on the website at $8.50. It claims to have 16-hour lasting color. It's transfer 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 proof 
and has intense color. So it says that you first apply the color, wait two minutes, and then apply the gloss. Okay, the formula's all right. I do have to press down a little bit harder than normal to get some pigment happening. Okay, this actually feels like a really nice formula. I have used this in the past before, but again, it was a while ago. I can't really remember my thoughts on it, but that applied beautifully. It's pigmented. It doesn't look streaky at all. And it feels very thin for a liquid lipstick as well. Okay, I really love that shade. It feels comfortable in the fact that it's not thick but it feels a little bit sticky. So we'll see what happens when I put the gloss on. Now this range does come in seven shades and they're quite nice. Lots of like pinky, mauves, and some like nudes. The only thing that annoys me about a product like this is that you get the pretty clear side all dirty. I might just put some on the back of my hand and then go in with a lip brush. Cause I don't want to wreck it. All right. all right, the gloss side does feel a little bit thick, but it's giving a very pretty shine. All right, well, that is all the makeup I have to test out from MUD today. I am really happy with the finished look. I will list everything down in the description box below. And if you have any questions, just leave me a comment. As I said, I'll let you know how the foundation wears. I'll also let you know how the lipstick wears, considering it claims to be, what was it, 16 hours? But anyway, if you enjoyed watching, please give this video a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. And if you are new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I do a ton of drugstore related content. I love me some affordable makeup. So go ahead and check that out. Thank you to everyone for watching and liking and commenting. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.